I'm gonna try and one take this. I'm trying not to have to edit this video because, well, I'm lazy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, it, it, this isn't a bad video in a sense. Like, I'm, I'm just sitting here and I'm just chilling and I just figured I'd let everybody know like how everything's been going with the channel. What's been going on with me? It seems like I'm kind of all over the place. I'm always tired. I'm always this, which is true. Um, for some reason, I have just been extremely stressed, and a lot of the stress is just pretty much nothing. But I have been, you know, just really going 100 mile an hour in my brain. And I don't know if it's my ADHD that's kicking in or what it is, but there's just been a lot on my mind lately. Um, I have been really worried about my family. Um, as you guys probably heard, if you guys have heard or seen any posts or... I don't even remember if I made a post. I don't think I made a post. But my mom came up from Florida to come and visit us. And she was here for two weeks. And then she had left this past Saturday. And it was kind of tough. I didn't really think that it was going to be as tough as it was. But I actually had a really good time talking to her. And we got to hang out quite a bit. I got her a whole bunch of groceries because as soon as she got here, she's like, hey, you're a delivery driver. I need some groceries. And I'm like, okay, mom. <laughs> no, I, I was happy with getting them. And I, I was happy that she was here. But it just, it, it started like dawning on me a, a lot of like how I've been living, what I've been stressed out about. And, and there's a lot of things that I'm not going to mention about what I'm getting stressed out about. But my main thing was, was just stressing out about family and just kind of what my whole situation is and where I've been living and stuff. Um, I have been helping my grandparents out since January or at least December. I, I, I can't remember exactly. I think a little bit in December I was helping my grandma, but now since January, February, around there, I've been taking care of both of my grandparents. And it's been really rough because uh, I, I've said this before, and it's not really a wrong answer in my opinion, but it's also not really a right answer either. One On one hand, this isn't my job to take care of my grandparents. It's not. I, I mean, okay, yes, they did raise me, and yes... The grandkids always go for the grandparents and they always want to hang out with them or do stuff with them and they always want to be there. But in a way, it's also not my job. They have three children, one of them being my mom. And of course, she's been helping out as much as possible, but she lives in another state. And she does come up here. She does try to visit. Sometimes it's hard. I don't really have the easiest family to be around. It is what it is. I don't care. I love my family, even though we're all pain, a pain in the ass. I still love them. But it, anyway, um, they, they have two other kids that, you know, one can't really help them. One refuses to help them. And it, it's just hard because if I want to go and do something, I worry about them like 24-7. If I go out somewhere, I'm always ready to call my grandma and be like, hey, are you okay? How's everything going? Is my dog okay? Are you guys okay? Don't fall. Don't do this. Don't do this. And then I just go about my business. But it's every single day. And I feel like that, yes, I, I'm happy to be here to help them, which is the contrast of it. I want to be here. And yes, they did raise me. And whenever I told my grandma, whenever I was little, whenever you guys get older I'll, or whenever I get older, I'll help you guys. Well, I mean, I put myself into that, and it's not necessarily like I regret it or anything. It's just, that's what's really been on my mind most of the time. And I'm always so worried about what's going on with them, and it's just, it's hard, <laughs> you know? I mean, they're not far away. They're just right right up the hill, like 100 feet, but it's it's still very, very difficult. And it's hard for me to think about that and try and think about other stuff, which also kind of leads me into the channel. Uh, the channel turned into a gotcha game <laughs> channel. <laughs> I did not expect to actually enjoy Honkai Star Rail as much as I had, but oh my god, dude. Like, every time that I play that, I know I've slowed down a little bit from playing it, but every time I play it, it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> I, I actually really enjoy this game. It's actually been really fun. I, I've never been one to get mobile games. 
I have gotten some mobile games and I've played some in the past, but I've always just been so bored of them. And so lately I've tried playing Monopoly Go, but that's not really a mobile game that I can really stick with much anymore. I was really addicted to it and I was playing it every damn day like, oh my God, uh, my city needs help. Oh my God. But then I stopped doing that because I just, I don't really get into mobile games. And so getting on the computer and finding a game like Honkai Star Rail, it was surprising to me that it was going to be as fun as it was because I was just like, oh my God, I actually like this game. I want to keep playing it. And now I have three to four hours of videos, like singular videos that I post just because, well, I, I enjoy the game and I want to record the entire experience. I do get a little annoyed with certain things in it, don't get me wrong, the dialogue sometimes drives me nuts. And I used to record in the evening, which I am recording right now, but I'm trying not to record too much of game stuff in the evening, because one, I need to be up early now, and two, it's just, it, I don't think it's healthy for me to be up until one or two o'clock trying to play a game and get it posted for you guys. I don't think it's healthy for me, I don't think it's healthy for anyone, but anyway, uh, I, I'm I'm just surprised that it's that fun of a game honestly like I actually really enjoy it and so I'm trying to you know not do like crazy long videos now because I think three to four hours is kind of pushing it but I mean it is what it is it, <laughs> if they end up being three to four hours long I'm sorry I'm not meaning for them to be but there's just so much content um but the people who have been enjoying those videos, thank you. I do, I really do appreciate it because I, I didn't really know how that game was going to end up being um, on the channel. It, it, it's just, it, it, it was something that I thought was fun. I liked it and I'm like, well, if I'm going to be playing hours of it, then I'll just go ahead and post it. And I'm glad people have enjoyed it. I really do. And I'm sorry about the clickbait on that one video with saying, saying goodbye, but it matched the video. It wasn't clickbait. I mean, it, <laughs> it, I mean, it was clickbait, but not because that's actually what happened in the video. So, I mean, it is what it is, but yeah, it, it was, it, sorry about that. <laughs> But no, um, no, the channel has kind of stagnated with subscribers, especially because I've been doing that, but I hadn't really been trying. To be honest with you, I go on YouTube almost every damn day. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I go on YouTube every damn day, and every time I look at some of this stuff, it's just like, I mean, there's so much that I want to do in real life, but I hate the area that I live in. And I don't really want to go around here or do anything because I, I just, I hate being here. But the only reason why I'm here is because of the two that I need to help. And it really sucks because, like, there's just not much interesting, in my opinion, around here. Because, okay, I've either been to all the places that I would think are interesting or they're tearing them down. It's really starting to piss me off, to be honest with you. The area that I live in, I've lived here for... Let's see, I'm 28, gonna be 29. I have lived here for 25 years, almost. I've lived in this area for 25 years. And of course, you know, progress, it is what it is. You know, it, it, we definitely needed some updates from whenever I was a kid to like certain roads or certain buildings or, you know, whatever of the sort. But they're changing my town into like an LA kind of thing. Like, they're getting a lot of modern stuff now, and it's just, I live in the Midwest. We're very hick-talking people, and, you know, this area, it doesn't really, it, it doesn't really match, like, what all is going on. And now they're tearing down my old elementary school, which I know that this is just kind of rambling on about something stupid, but they're tearing down my old elementary school, for whatever reason. Uh, they've... Uh, turn like a lot of these areas that used to be just calm and farmland and stuff they turned them all into housing subdivisions and it sucks ass because i've been everywhere here i've seen everything and every one of my little exploration spots because i used to go on walks everywhere and i would just like find random places and it's like you know what i'm just gonna chill here well all of them are gone now because they're covered in goddamn houses and it's pissing me off and i hate that and so this whole area, like, from whenever I was a kid to now, I, I can only imagine for the people who've lived here a lot longer than me. But 
it, it's just it, it's changed so much like since i've been a kid to now all of my childhood is basically gone and that's kind of pissing me off and a lot of the things that i've been stressed out and worried about recently which like i said it it's mostly my family there's other things but i'm not getting into that it's too personal um taking care of them has really stressed me out because i'm always worried that i'm going to get a phone call saying one of them is gone and or something is just going to happen and i won't know about it because no one will call me they'll just be up there and they won't say anything and then i'm just sitting down here just panicking whatever um but yeah it's just so much has not really been like very happy for me lately so if it seems like that i'm kind of out of it in videos or just like okay all right we're back to another video and whatever that's why there it just things are changing things are really tough things are just i i don't know what what you call it like there i know there's a word for it but i i, I think i'm stressing out over nothing to be honest with you but i i can't get my brain to process like it's not that big of a deal it's fine everything's fine you're good like, just so much, I think, has piled up in my head the last five years, basically. So five, six years. I think so much has piled up in my head, and now it's just like, okay, now we're just going to be depressed this entire year. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the hell is wrong, man. It sucks, but it is what it is, I guess. And I, I hate saying that because it's just like, you know, it, it, it shouldn't be what it is, but... I mean, what else can I say? It, it, it's just, sometimes you just get into one of those funks and it's just like, you know, nothing is really interesting to you. And it ties into my YouTube because I try to look for videos and nothing is interesting to me. Everybody is just doing stuff that I would like to do. And it's like, oh, well, here I can't do it. I want to leave, but I can't because I'm taking care of people who need me. Uh, it, it, it's, it's wild. It, it's so crazy. But I, I will say this, I will not change me taking care of my grandparents for anything in the world. Like, I'm glad that I'm at least here because honestly, it, it, it makes me upset thinking like I could not be here and the people who raised me, the people who I've always known, the people who were always there for me, they would just be gone. I don't know how I'm going to react whenever my grandparents pass. I'll be completely honest with you. I may take like a whole month break off of YouTube. I may <laughs> take like six months off YouTube. I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to react to it. But that's why I'm happy to be here. Because it's like at least I'm here. And that at least makes me feel good. Because if I wasn't here then it would be you know much rougher. And I encourage everybody, if you guys are still in touch with your grandparents or whatever the case may be, go talk to them. H hang out with them, you know. Let them know that you care. Because, I'm, I mean, they're pretty important people in all of our lives. I'll be completely honest with you. Like, all, all through school, that's all I talked about was my grandparents are doing this for me. My grandparents, 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 grandparents. That's all I would do. Of course, I'd talk about my mom, and whenever I was in, like, my shitty teenage phase, I, I would sometimes talk shit about my mom. I'll admit that. But it, it, it was always my grandparents. And so just being here at least makes me feel good. Being here to be able to take care of them makes me feel a lot better about just everything. And I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Um, but at some point, I'm going to be changing my living situation. I can't be living like this. It, not necessarily because it's a bad setup. There's there's nothing wrong with me being here. I'm comfortable. My dog's comfortable. It, you know, everything is fine. But at some point, I, I'm going to need a big change. I almost even took a break. Uh whenever my mom was here i almost did but then i thought about it and i'm like hmm, i don't know how that would be i almost took a break after she left too but i was like no i i can't do that i gotta i gotta keep up i i can't let my youtube die but 
at some point I think I am gonna need a break because my my brain is just so overloaded I'm so worried about how this YouTube channel is gonna be I'm hoping that you know it'll keep growing but right now it, it's just hanging out it's just doing its thing but I'm afraid that if I disappear then it's just gonna revert back and it's like oh shit well now I'm screwed <laughs> so Taking a break for me is just kind of hard right now, but at some point I want to do it. Um, I don't, I don't really know what else to say. I'm, I'm so tired. I, I, I feel like I haven't slept in days, even though I sleep every damn night for at the very most six hours. Like, I feel like I haven't slept in like five days. It is so crazy, and I don't know why, but like. Well, especially now there's a mattress topper on this freaking bed, dude. And it is soft as shit. And last night, oh, I slept like a goddamn baby. I left the computer off. I I just chilled out in here. Oh, it was it was so wonderful. I loved it so much. It was great. <laughs> and I know I'm going to do that tonight. Whenever I'm ready to go to bed, there's a couple more videos that I want to record and get posted, but um whenever i go to bed tonight i'm gonna sleep like a baby i'm gonna sleep i'm gonna sleep well because i'm starting to you know get through my head like okay the stress isn't really that bad just calm down and just get some rest and that's gonna what i'm gonna try and do and like i said i'm sorry if i'm sorry if i seem like i'm really out of it in videos I will say Honkai Star Rail, after playing it for so long or looking at the screen for so long, it's just like, oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. But I do like Honkai Star Rail, and I do appreciate everybody watching me play Honkai Star Rail. Like, it, it's crazy that I've actually got that great of engagement on it. And I'm going to be playing Wuthering Waves whenever it comes out. So keep an eye out for that if you are interested. Um... And I'm still going to try and do some React content. It's just nothing has been interesting. It's just been so much politics, so much bullshit. Like, I'm I'm just waiting for, like, the right story. So then I could be like, hey, I'm going to look into this. And no, it's not Skibbity Toilet. That's not on this channel. That's on the second channel. So I'll, I'll focus on that at some point. I know I haven't posted over there either. But no Skibbity Toilet over here. Only on second channel. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I just, I figured I'd come on here and just update everybody and just let y'all know what's happening and how I'm feeling. And I'm, I'm, wor I'm working there, but there's a lot of big changes that I'm trying to do in my life. And I'm hoping to start them here pretty soon. So, uh, I'm good. Everything's good. We're all good. You good? I'm good. <coughs> you, you good? All right, cool. All right, um... I'm going to start posting some more videos. Um, I got some videos coming out tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. And, uh, yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.